The auto throttle A slash THR system can work in two different modes. Speed mode, the auto throttle system continuously adjusts the thrust in order to maintain a target speed or Mach. Example, during cruise or approach. Thrust mode, the auto throttle system provides a constant thrust. Example, during climb or descent. The auto throttle modes are automatically linked to autopilot flight director vertical modes. When the autopilot flight director vertical mode commands a trajectory, such as a vertical speed, a glide slope, or altitude hold, the auto throttle is in speed mode. When the autopilot flight director vertical mode adjusts the aircraft pitch in order to maintain a target speed or Mach, such as a climb or descent, the auto throttle is in thrust mode. The primary controls for the auto throttle system are the thrust levers. In the A320 family, the auto throttle system does not move the thrust levers while adjusting thrust. Normally, after takeoff, the thrust levers are placed in the climb detent and they remain there until retarded for landing. When the auto throttle system is off, the crew controls the thrust in a conventional manner by simply moving the thrust levers to a desired position. For forward thrust, there are four physical detents in the quadrant. Idle, CL for maximum climb thrust, flex slash MCT for flex thrust at takeoff or max continuous thrust, TOGA for max takeoff or go around thrust. The auto throttle engagement range is from just forward of the idle detent to the climb detent. In special circumstances, such as engine failure, the auto throttle engagement range is extended to the MCT detent. The auto throttle system is disabled when the levers are in the reverse segment. When the auto throttles are on, the thrust lever position determines the maximum thrust which can be commanded by the system. Thrust lever position is indicated by a white donut on the EPR gauge. This donut indicates the maximum amount of thrust available to the auto throttle system on that engine. The auto throttle has three states. It can be either disconnected or off, armed, ready to be engaged by a specific pilot action on the thrust levers, or engaged or on. When the aircraft is on the ground, the auto throttle system is necessarily disconnected. This is confirmed by the absence of any auto throttle indications on the FMA and by the extinguished auto throttle push button on the flight control unit. Thrust is manually adjusted by the crew as required to taxi the aircraft. For takeoff, the pilot must manually set the thrust levers to either the flex or toga detents. Click on the thrust levers to initiate the takeoff roll. As soon as the thrust levers are set in the toga detent, the FMA shows auto throttle blue, indicating that the auto throttle is armed. Manual toga white, indicating that the pilot must manually control the thrust. Remember that auto throttle engagement range is from just above idle to climb and up to max continuous on one engine. Also note that the auto throttle push button light on the flight control unit eliminates in green. Even though the auto throttle system is armed, the pilot still has manual control of the thrust levers. However, the fact that the auto throttle is armed means that it is ready to be engaged.
On crossing the thrust reduction altitude, the pilot must manually set the thrust levers to the climb detent. A flashing lever climb on the FMA prompts the pilot to set the thrust levers. Set climb thrust now. Notice the changes on the FMA. Auto throttle is now white, indicating that the auto throttle is on. Thrust climb is green, indicating that the auto throttle is in the thrust mode. Since the thrust levers are set in the climb detent and the autopilot is commanding a climb, the auto throttle commands thrust climb. The white boxes around the modes highlight the fact that a mode change has occurred. In normal operation, when the auto throttle is on, the levers are left in the climb detent throughout the flight until the flare. The auto throttle adjusts the thrust as required between idle and max climb. Note that the thrust levers do not move even though the thrust changes. Should the pilot need additional thrust, he may at any time push the thrust levers forward and manually control the thrust. When the aircraft reaches the target altitude, the autopilot flight director goes into the altitude mode and the auto throttle switches to the speed mode as indicated on the FMA. In this mode, the auto throttle continuously adjusts the thrust to maintain the target speed. During the flare, the pilot has to reduce the thrust for landing by bringing the thrust levers back to idle at about 20 feet. A note, if the thrust is not brought back to idle, the auto throttle will increase thrust to maintain the speed. An oral retard auto call is made at about 10 feet as a reminder to retard the thrust levers. When the thrust levers are set to idle, the auto throttle system is automatically disengaged. On the FMA, auto throttle white is extinguished. The FMA auto throttle column is blank, and on the flight control unit, the auto throttle push button is now extinguished. We have just seen one way to turn the auto throttle off by setting the thrust levers back to idle. The other method is to press either one of the two auto throttle instinctive disconnect push buttons located on the thrust levers. Note, pressing at least one push button for more than 15 seconds will inhibit the auto throttle for the remainder of the flight. If the auto throttle system has been switched off during flight, re-engagement is accomplished by pressing the auto throttle push button on the flight control unit. To avoid sudden abrupt power surges, it is recommended that the thrust levers be left in their present position until the auto throttle system is re-engaged. Then the throttle should be smoothly returned to the climb detent. Note, you can disconnect the auto throttle by pressing the auto throttle push button on the FCU flight control unit. However, this is not the standard recommended procedure.